have a feeling that today's video is gonna have some class and some trash. Hey girlies! So today I'm gonna be staying at the Embassy Suites by Hilton. Sounds fancy, right? It's not. <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing the room, the amenities, and most importantly, the food. I'm gonna be eating on the Embassy Suites premises for 24 hours. Lunch, snacks, dinner, dessert, and breakfast in the morning. Of course, I'm gonna be brutally honest, guys. If the food is trash, I'm gonna tell you. If the room is trash, I'm gonna show you. Now, I have never in my life stayed at an Embassy Suites. To me, the name Embassy Suites sounds extremely classy, like it's exuding luxuriousness, right? Even though I think an embassy is just like the headquarters for another country in a different country, right? Or something like that. I don't even know. But to me, the word sounds fancy. So I just think fanciness when I think embassy suites. But guys, the room was so cheap. I'm not talking like $150 cheap. I'm talking like under a hundred cheap. For one room, for one night at the embassy suites, I paid $84.42 plus $18.55 in taxes and fees. $84. That's like super eight prices, girly, okay? We might be going into a dumpster right now. I don't know what to expect because I've never been there, but there's someone watching me film. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> Got that minute made? Yes. I'm parked next to a Publix. Okay. Now, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. This might be an amazing experience. It might be super clean, super nice, super amazing, and it might just have a super cheap competitive price. You know what I mean? So it might slay me, but the price did make me worry just a little bit. So hopefully it's just a great deal. Now, another weird thing, guys. They have room service. I have never stayed at a hotel around this price range that served room service. That is almost unheard of. So let me explain the food to you. Room service is only from 5 p.m. until I think 10 or 11 around there. So I can't have room service for lunch, but they do have an on-site restaurant bar type of thing. So hopefully I can get lunch there. Also, at around 5 p.m., they have a reception in the lobby with free snacks, guys. <laughs> That is also unheard of, besides <laughs> the Drury and guys. That was some of the crustiest food I've ever put into this hole. So I hope these snacks are a little better. But guys, the fact that they even have free snacks around dinner time is a blessing. Let's celebrate that. So I'm going to have lunch at the bar restaurant type thing. Snacks downstairs. Now dinner, I'm going to have room service. I'm going to probably get appetizers, desserts, entrees, everything. It's going to be a full spread. And then breakfast is free and it's like a little like breakfast buffet moment downstairs. So I'm skeptical, but I'm very excited to try all the food. But before we head over there, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps my channel out, my career, my livelihood. So give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make restaurant content, hotel food content, theme park food content. It's a great time subscribe. I live in Orlando, so I'm around everything. Okay, I will see you guys when we're getting close to the Embassy oh, Suites! Okay, guys, we are almost there. I'm in a great mood. Isn't that lovely? I have been anxious for the past couple days about various things. My stutter, a possible ingrown toenail, <laughs> a lot of different things. And today I just feel a lot more carefree. It's just, it's a good day. Also, I was just driving and singing to the loudest possible level, Santa Can't You Hear Me by Ariana Grande and Kelly Clarkson. And I was kind of eating. I was hitting the high notes, girlies. <laughs> No, I was kidding. Um, no. It's giving. Anyways, we are nearing the Embassy Suites, and um, I'm not 100% sure what the parking situation is like. I do know that parking isn't free because I didn't see free free parking on Priceline. <laughs> I'm just not sure how much it's gonna be, so. We will find out, you know, this is by Hilton, and um, when I stayed at the Hilton, parking was not free. So, you know, at least they're consistent. By the way, this is the Embassy Suites near Universal. That's, that's the location. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn. Too loud, girl, chill. <gasps> I see it, I see the Embassy Suites! Wow, it's big, guys. It's big and it's orange. Make a U-turn. Thank you, I will. Okay, U-turn time. Ah! I hate U-turns. Embassy Suites, this looks nice. This does not look 
like an $84 hotel. For real. Registration, guest parking, valet parking. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go into the little parking area and maybe I can just like grab a ticket and park before checking in. Visitor, please press the blue button for a ticket. Okay, who is she? That doesn't sound like Siri. That's Siri's cousin, Sony. Okay, let's try to get a ticket. It's too far away. Hold on. Ah. Please take the parking ticket. Okay, perfect. Please enter following the guy. Ah! Gotta drive in now. Oh my god. No. Okay, we are in the parking lot. I have my ticket. Oh my gosh, that was turned the whole time. I'm sorry guys, that was a rush. Okay, <laughs> that was a little stressful, it's fine. Oh, I'm excited, I think. I think this is gonna be a good place, guys. I have a good feeling about it. I do, based on the outside and the fact they have valet, like this is gonna be nice. Okay, so it's very windy. Oh, my shirt. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so. <clears throat> What's happening? I'm malfunctioning. It's very windy, so I hope you can hear me, but basically this is the Embassy Suites. It's very big, is it not? It is orange, like I said, it's like a caca orange, but it's fine. And then we have a big E there. Do we love it? I love it. Okay, let's go inside. Oh my God, Christmas decorations. I'm excited. Oh, I'm shook. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. What in the world? This is $84? We have decorations? Okay, I'm gonna check in now. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have a small issue. Well, first of all, I am checked in. The employees were so nice, so professional, talkative. They were wonderful. So great service so far. Parking is $22 a night and they gave me like a little parking permit. So 22 is a lot of money to be honest, especially for such a cheap place. But can I just say, the lobby is so stunning. My jaw dropped, guys. It just looks luxurious, modern, but also homey and warm. That just slayed, so I hope the room slays me as well. Now, the issue is that there are no lunch options. I kind of figured this out because I saw this like piece of paper on the front desk that had like a lunch menu, but it said pre-order lunch the night before, okay? And so I, I asked, I was like, is there anywhere to eat lunch? like here like on the premises and they were like no i'm sorry so there's no lunch options i guess unless if you pre-order it the night before so i was like oh no i didn't say that to him but in my mind i was like oh no i did see that they have sort of like a little snack convenience store so i might have snacks for lunch okay so he said to go through the side entrance so that's what i'm doing hey girl there's me entry by guest key only where where do i oh here Ugh. I'm dropping things. Ugh. I have to touch the crusty floor. Ew. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, girl. Okay. Let me in. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the floors, guys. Pretty. My room number is 520. These are the elevators. Let's ride it, guys. <laughs> I want to ride it, please. Okay, so the door is a Magic Kingdom promo. Love that. We love Disney. <gasps> Ooh. I love a good window elevator, guys. This is nice. Okay, we are on floor number five. Rise! Yay! <laughs> Woo! So cute. And of course, after we figure out lunch, I'm gonna explore the whole place and the amenities. But we are taking it one step at a time, okay? Ooh. Okay, so we have like a patio right outside the elevator. We can look down. I don't wanna drop my phone, but Look how cute. It's kind of scary. It's fine. Now, these are the hallways. I'm 520, so I'm down this way. Okay. Guys, I found my room 520. And the front door just goes right out to all of this. Let's see if it opens easily. Yay. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Oh, that noise. 
Oh! Oh! Lights! Camera! Action! Okay, wait, pause. Hold on. Guys, this is so pretty. And it's big. There's a little kitchen. Wait! Let me first close these. Okay. Thank you. I'm a celebrity, guys. I can't have people looking at me and taking pictures, okay? I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is what I just walked into, guys. Um... Hello? A kitchen! A full-size couch that probably has a bed in it, too. Oh my god, and this is just the first room. There's two rooms, guys. We have this gorgeous painting of the ocean and a big- I don't even know what that is, but something brown. We have a TV in here and probably one in the bedroom, too, which I haven't gone into yet. I'm nervous. <gasps> this is the room service menu! Love that. Okay, we have a little phone. We have a nice lamp that's already on, so it works. It has some little singe marks, but, you know, it happens. You know, lamps are hot, and they, they can singe themselves. The couch is looking pretty clean. I am going to check for a pull-out bed later on, I promise. This TV is a Samsung. It's a little tilted. Hold on. Oh, it swivels. It swivels. Modern technology. Now, what's in here? <gasps> a safe and nothing in there. Okay. No Last of Us mold. And then this drawer is very clean. Very nice. Also very clean and nice. Let's make all three clean. Yes. They ate the drawer challenge up. And then we have a nice little dining room area with two chairs. Okay. Very nice. And... This lamp also works. Very cute lamp. Love that. It's giving grandfather's study. You know, oh, uh, Penny, can you fetch me a, a pen from grandfather's study? And now this is the little kitchen area. We have a mirror. I don't like this shirt that much, guys. It's like baggy, but it gets tight around here. I don't know why I wore it. I don't like it. Anyways, enough about me. We have a little coffee maker for the caffeinated queens. A bunch of Coffee and tea options, come on. A little ice bucket, a little sink. Does it work? Yes, oh, luxury. And we have this little cabinet here. It's giving plumbing. Everyday American man, okay? And we have a microwave, is it crusty inside? Oh, oh, who is she? Something happened in here. Something sinister. What is that little crustification? It looks like a beetle was in there and it got cooked or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a little bit of yellowness around here, but honestly, not a bad microwave besides the little burnt beetle. Okay. That sounds like a superhero. And then we have this pretty large fridge. Let's open it up. Very cute. We have the little Elsa ice box, totally coated in frosting and snow. Let me tell you, this can hold a lot of food, guys. There's a lot of little areas, a lot of little shelving moments. And it honestly smells like a Hot Pocket. I'm not just saying that to be funny. It actually smells like a freshly cooked pepperoni Hot Pocket, and I love that. <laughs> I want that as a perfume. Okay, so now let's enter the room. I have not yet. Let's see. Ooh, very nice. I'm impressed. Look, it's all very simple, but it's a full-size bedroom, plus we have the whole living room area. Like, oh my gosh. Also, the AC is working. And I'm putting it even lower. Love that. Let's see what the view is like. No, wait. Okay, here. Okay. So we don't have a full-size patio. It's more like a foot of patio and it's kind of crustified, but that is not a big deal. So the view is of a parking lot, which is not exciting unless if you're a car guy and you just watch cars all day, you know? And we have another hotel right there. I don't know which one that is, but listen, we don't need a good view when this nice room was $84, okay? We have a sink and a mirror in the bedroom, which I'm like, why would you need that? Unless if you plan on making a mess in here, girl, which some of you do, but it is nice to have. I mean, it's a bonus. It's an extra sink. Does this light work? Yes, very cute lighting fixture. And then here we have a little nightstand. Very cute. Does this work? Oh, it doesn't work! Wait, for the first time! This is why I always check lights, guys. Once in a while, they don't work, and this one does not. Give me my money, Brock! I'm just kidding, we have enough light. But does this one work? Let's see, the true test. Yes! We have an alarm clock from 1902. It looks pretty old, but it's fine. Check this drawer, oh. Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Is that what I think it is? Did someone draw that? Okay, let's just put this back. We have this gorgeous mirror looking like it's from El Dorado. Very nice. I am kind of looking cute today. <laughs> and then we have this lamp, which is kind of crooked. Let's 
fix that up. Oh, oh no, it just it wants to stay crooked. That's fine. Okay, wow, that's just flapping in the wind. At least it works though. Another Samsung TV. And now, guys, we have a lot of drawers. Let's check all these. One, looks good. Two, looks good. Three, that's fine. Four, stunning. Five, and six. Oh! I knew one of them would have something. That's a piss stain! I don't know if it's pee, but something's there. And then we have this whole wardrobe, guys. Now, listen. If I enter this wardrobe and I never come back, just know that I'm living a fantastic life in the White Witch's Ice Castle. Aslan is my zaddy. Do not worry about me. But let's open it up and see what's in here. A person! No, I was kidding. Imagine. Oh my god. Okay, wow! So, we have an ironing board. We have some extra blankets and some pillows. Bye, guys! Oh my god, Aslan, stop roaring at me! <laughs> okay, bye guys! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's been 84 years! Last thing, the bed looks totally fine. Um, the pillows do look a little wrinkled, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Let's test it out! Ugh! Oh, people say not to not to touch the top layer of the sheets and I just put my mouth on it. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay, so initial thoughts on the room, obviously. I haven't slept on the bed. I haven't tested out the shower. But so far, for $84 plus taxes and fees plus parking, this room is amazing. And I didn't realize it would be like an actual suite because this is like their cheapest room. I just thought that Embassy Suites was just like a name. But this is like the size of a little suite. And I'm so impressed by that. Most everything seems clean besides that piss stain. So far, so good. Now, I have decided that because it is already 2 p.m. and room service starts in about three hours, I am just gonna get something from the little lobby store that they have down there, some like little snacks. I just don't think that I should be having a full meal right now when dinner's so close by. And so with that being said, let's go down to the little store. And then afterwards, of course, we'll explore everything. <laughs> By the way, it kind of makes sense that they don't serve lunch here because most people that, that stay here are at, at Disney or Universal during lunchtime. So it's just not a necessity. That's what a lot of hotels do in this area. So it's totally fine. But anyways, this is the breakfast area tomorrow morning. So excited. Um, I just got back with my snacks. I'll show you what I got in a second, but I just realized I forgot to look in the bathroom. Hello! What's wrong with me? So, let's go in. Ooh! There's... Ooh, it smells. Oh, it smells like brown sugar. Why does it smell like brown sugar? Like strong, like, like a raisin. Like a prune. A raisinette. Let's turn the light on. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Hello, gorgeous mirror. I love when mirrors have these gorgeous lights around them, guys. It just makes for such gorgeous lighting for selfies. Mm -hmm. So visually, it looks great. This is a very strong vent. Like, there's a strong, cold AC flow coming from there. Pretty nice countertop, pretty nice sink. We have some towels and some toilet paper down there. Are these drawers? No. Is this a drawer? No. Deceit! Lies! And then we have some tissues, some body lotion. A little thing of soap and some little towels. And this gorgeous art of what is that mold? Last of Us! I swear I, that looks like mold to me. I don't know. Who would paint mold? I don't get it. And then we have the toilet, which looks pretty clean, pretty nice. A little trash can. And now this is the shower. So it's it's one of those kind of squished bathrooms where the shower is like behind the door and it's right in front of the toilet. So to have a comfortable toilet experience, you have to close it for sure. I mean, <laughs> most people do, but like when I'm here alone, I just typically do it all with the door open, you know? But it's fine. The tub looks pretty clean, pretty nice. Nice little towel here, little soap thingy there. Nice shower head too, it looks pretty large. And then we have some soaps here, some body lotion, shower gel, and shampoo. There's a lot of lotion going on in here. Where's the conditioner? Some people need that. I mean, I don't because I look like a hard-boiled egg, you know? 
but it's just odd that there's no conditioner, but it's fine. It all looks very nice. I love this nice little line here. Makes it look a little fancier. Okay, so the bathroom, you know, besides the size and the smell, it's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is what I got for lunch. It's dainty. It's light. It's airy. Ooh, the lighting is eating. So first things first, I got a Diet Coke. Of course. I'm parched. I got these Salsa Verde Tostitos, which I've never had in my life. And I saw them, I was like, I have to try those. I love tortilla chips so much. They're the best kind of chip, period. Ooh, they smell so good. Like a jalapeno moment. Look at that. My mouth is literally watering. Mm. Look at that, guys. It's so good. It tastes like a jalapeno, fresh, green salsa vibe. Like salsa verde. <laughs> Sorry. Ve, ve. I'm half Cuban. Salsa verde. There we go. But it's not super strong. It's almost like a hint of salsa verde, almost like the hint of lime chips, which I love. But just a little stronger than that. But not as strong as like a full Dorito. <laughs> These are amazing. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I also got... Some nacho cheese dip. I love this trashy stuff, guys. And I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave. I have to take off this aluminum foil little seal, though, because this would implode in the microwave, guys. Doesn't smell like that. I haven't had this in a while. Okay, it says to heat it up for 15 seconds. Let's see. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, it's nice and warm. Let's see here, guys. It's cold. <laughs> this is not the same dip that I was thinking of. This is something else. This is sinister. Uh, oh, I got chills. Ugh, I don't like this. I was thinking of like, you know, the salsa con queso by Tostitos that like comes in the glass jar. I love that stuff. This is like super sweet and it tastes see-through. <laughs> Does that make sense? You know, like when the flavor is so empty that you can taste that it's like see-through? That's what that tastes like, like watery, agua cheese, trash. Usually I like trashy cheeses, like sprayed cheese, things like that. That's disgusting, I can't eat that, I'm sorry. But these are amazing. Ten out of 10. Cheese sauce is a one out of 10. I also got some spicy nuts and Cajun sticks Trail mix. I love any kind of a salty trail mix, guys. Especially spicy trail mixes. I haven't had this one, though, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm. That's fine. It doesn't taste bad. It just feels really stale. Where's the expiration date? I can't find it. I'll eat it. It's fine. So it has corn nuts. It has peanuts. It has sesame sticks. And it has an overall spicy Cajun flavor. And it actually does taste cajun I, I I love that. They are a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. I really like the flavor. I just feel like it's all kind of stale. So I don't like the texture, but... It's nuts. If I see some nuts, I'm going to eat them. Six out of ten. I have to say, though, that little store downstairs was a little empty. Like, a lot of the little shelves were, like missing their their items. It wasn't fully stocked. And I do feel like they could have had a few more options. Also... The setup downstairs for the convenience store is kind of awkward because you have to pay at the front desk. The issue was there was a long line of people waiting to check in. So I was like, when am I going to be able to check out? So I just kind of waited by the side of the store. The front desk people were focusing on checking people in as, as they should. But um, the next guest was like, um, you can check him out first, which was so nice of her. I was like, oh, don't worry. And then she was like, it's okay. Just do it. Don't worry. And I was like, thank you so much. And they checked me out. Uh -huh. There's kindness left in this world, guys. A little smidge of it. These might be my new favorite chips. I'm not joking. I bet with salsa, these would eat, guys. Or, or no, with guacamole. Oh, my God. Now, for dessert, I got some Grandma's Chocolate Chip Cookies. <gasps> I'm getting a Marriott room service flashback. Yes, it's true. Marriott had Grandma Cookies on their room service menu. But these were just like in the store area, so it's fine. This isn't room service, like there's a big difference, you know? Anyways, I got the chocolate chip flavor. I haven't had the full-size grandma cookies in so many years, probably like 10 plus years. So let's see how they taste. Meh! 
they taste kind of like how the bathroom smells. Like fermented, raisiny, dried up brown sugar. They do have a nice chewy texture, but they have that really processed raisiny flavor that some processed cookies can have. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a very specific flavor and some people don't mind it, but personally, I do. <laughs> it takes over the whole cookie. It takes over the whole flavor profile. And all I can taste is like this fermented, dried up flavor. I just don't like them that much. I'm giving these a three out of 10. Sorry. By the way, guys, my nails are a mess. Don't look at them. Don't look. <laughs> don't look at them. <laughs> they were painted this really pretty dark blue color, almost black. But then last night I got anxious and I started picking at them and I ruined them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat a few more chips and then we are gonna go explore the whole hotel, guys. All the amenities, everything. I'm ready! Okay, guys, we are about to go and explore everything. But first, let's see if this is actually a pull-out bed, okay? Now, I have never really set up a pull-out bed. It's just something that I've never done. It's, it's not part of my expertise. <gasps> it is a pull-out bed, guys! This is actually amazing because, like, a family of, like, five could stay here comfortably. Now, hold on. I don't want my, my butt crack to show. Hold on. I just pull. How do I get it out of there? Is there a handle somewhere? Oh, here! There's a handle underneath this flap. Always check under the flap, girl. Okay. Oh! <gasps> ah! Oh my god. Okay. Let me just. Oh! Okay! Oh! It's quite springy, but it's an extra bed, guys. Like, this kind of eats. Not to put it back. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, let's go explore. Okay, so first things first, girlies. We are going to the top floor. I always like to check the top floor to see if there's a nice view. But I think that this hotel only has eight floors, so it's not going to be much different from my view. But maybe it's like overlooking something else. It's not the parking lot. You never know. We have to check. I just went on the elevator and I couldn't film because um, there was a nice lady in there that was like, you're going up and down. And I was like, up, eighth floor. And she was like, me too. But anyways, this is the eighth floor. It's very high up, guys. Is that not a little bit scary? Like, wow. Oh my God. But it's so cool. This is such a cool design. It's giving future. Let's look for a window to see what the outside looks like. Oh, I found one right there. Oh. Guys, you're not ready for this. Just kidding, it's another parking lot. <laughs> but if you look above the parking lot, it's kind of pretty. Look at the ocean of trees. We have the Ferris wheel from the, I, th I think that's like the family fun spot, whatever. And that looks like a castle, right? Castle vibes, knock off Disney World, I love it. Let's go down and finish exploring the lobby because I didn't see everything. Okay, we have to look through every nook and cranny of this place to see if it's worth it. I wanna get a cool shot of me going down the elevator, hold on, wait. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so we are back in the main lobby. Now look guys, there's so much seating area in this lobby. It's actually kind of crazy. Like you could just sit anywhere. It's just all seats. And for what? Oh my gosh, guys, there's a little BB bot, whatever, beep bop boop. One of these for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I think that's called BB something, but it's purple. So I, it might not be BB-8, it might be BB Barney. <laughs> I just noticed that there was someone looking at me the whole time. I didn't see them until afterwards. <laughs> so we have a cute little travel plan area where you can visit Pandora, go to Harry Potter land and go to SeaWorld and all that. So this is very cute and it's empty right now. Here's a little computer area. If you have to, you know, get your business done, girl. If you gotta send an email to your boss, if you gotta send an email to your 800 employees, if you're a brand, a business and a boss, this is for you. Also, we have a scanning thing, whatever it's called. So the indoor pool and fitness center are both this way, I think. Okay, let's go this way. Wait, outdoor pool, is there an indoor pool too? Oh, maybe? So I just realized that the first sign actually said indoor pool and the second sign said outdoor pool. So they have two pools. That's so cool. Where am I? Am I 
I supposed to be here? I don't know. I'm going the wrong way. I think the outdoor pool might be this way. Let's see. Oh, that scared me so bad. Okay, girly. So this is the outdoor pool area. This is the hot tub. Oh, oh God. It looks like nature took over, like an apocalyptic hot tub. I don't think I want to step my foot in there, girl. I don't want to slip on the algae. Now, this is the pool. It's pretty nice. I mean, it is a little dirty in different areas. Like, oh my gosh, did a storm come through, girl? I don't know what's going on. But I like the shape. It's like giving Tetris or something, you know? But the crustification of this area needs a little work. Oh, wait, there's another hot tub. No, wait, I think this is a kiddie pool because it's, it's extremely shallow. But Mother Nature has also come for this one. Look at that. That is so intense. It's just extremely dirty, guys. Like, I don't know what is going on here. So I think that these are meeting rooms. We have citrus. This is where all the oranges and the grapefruits meet. And then we have lake. This is where <laughs> all the water comes together. And then we have osceola. I don't even know what that means. Ravioli. Areola. I don't know. Now here's the fitness center and the swimming pool. Let's see how it all looks. So this is the indoor swimming pool so nice this one's actually very nice and very clean so i guess this is like the main pool now it does look a little soapy so that's interesting but it's nice and we have some towels just folded randomly right here so you can just grab one i guess and they're on hc as well very nice so there was a hot tub in in there as well but there were people in it so i couldn't film it obviously because i'll be weird but it did look clean and it was fully bubbling it was not like stagnant like the ones outside anyways let's check out the fitness center now there's some people in there so we have to not film them just film the areas that are empty Sorry, that was a super quick clip, but <laughs> there were people in there and it was very quiet and I felt like I was being watched and it was awkward. But I filmed what I could. It looked pretty nice. There was some water, some towels, a lot of treadmills, mostly just treadmills, but um, there there were a, a few other machines plus some weights. There was a zani lifting weights in there, girlies. So now what is left to explore? I think that's all the amenities, guys. Honestly, I think that the amenities, especially for the price, are fantastic besides the dirty outside pools at least there's an inside pool option and it looked very clean it actually looked quite soapy okay guys so i have been editing a little bit of my video and some time has passed it is now almost 5 p.m and apparently 5 p.m is when the snacks get released from the kitchen so i'm gonna go downstairs in a few minutes and we're gonna go and get some snackies and then we're gonna come back up here taste test them and then order dinner. So we can't get too full from the snacks. I'm just excited to eat some real food for dinner because <laughs> lunch literally was, was snacks and I'm having some more snacks, but it's fine. I'm grateful they're free. So yeah, but by the way, I just noticed that uh, you can also see the Ferris wheel from my window. You see it? So at night that's gonna light up and get really pretty. Who needs stars when you, you have lights coming from a budget knockoff theme park? Stars who? Aurora Borealis who? Where are the snacks? I don't see them anywhere. I don't know. I'm hoping for like little, maybe appetizers, like little, little hot things, maybe like little cocktail memes or, you know what I mean? Little fun things. Okay, so I am seated at one of the millions of their tables because they have so many. I just saw a guy wheel out some like lemonade. So I think the snackies are coming and the people are waiting, guys. There's probably like at least like 15 people waiting around for these snacks. I'm kind of getting nervous. Like what if they take them all before I can get to them? <laughs> but y'all better share. Okay, so for some reason, I thought that it was gonna be like paper plates, but it's not it's like actual like glass plates. So fancy. But guys, they had hummus, uh, pita chips, Cheez-Its, Chex Mix. Hello. And they also had some like fruit and then some dried fruit, which not into that today. And that's okay. Mm, free cheeses. That's all I need. It's, it's not like the most exciting snacks, but they're free. Now, there's also some like pink liquid. <laughs> it looks kind of like pudding or something like that. 
I'm gonna try that after I finish these snacks. But mm, mm, the cheese that are eating like always, they taste fresh. Fresh from the factory. And the Chex Mix is eating. I love these little the dark toast things. Iconic. Now let's try the hummus, okay? This is like the freshest thing they have. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's giving as well. It tastes like a store-bought packaged hummus, but a good one. It's very garlicky. Mm. I'm really loving the hummus. Wow. That's a really filling snack. I forgot to show you they have lemonade and water as well. So I realized that this pink stuff is like a dip for the fruit. So I got some strawberries because it's a lot better than cantaloupes and honeydews. Like, who are they? And then I got some lemonade as well. It's nice. Not too tart, not too sweet. Fresh lemonade. Okay, and let's try this pink stuff. Mmm, boom. It's just yogurt with like strawberry syrup in it. It's just fine. It's cute. Mm. I kind of wanted pudding though. Pudding's just more more delicious, but still still very good. Mm. Okay, that's it. Let's go upstairs and order room service dinner. I'm hungry. Let's look at the room service menu. I'm so hyped right now. Let's scan this little code right here. I know I have been to tons of hotels this year, but it never gets old, guys. The feeling of opening that menu. Here it is. So it says cafe ordering on demand bar meets grill so this is i guess from their little restaurant downstairs that i guess is only open during dinner okay so this is what the menu looks like okay we got small plates and then what's that say greens who large plates okay so appetizers they have chicken wings half moon mozzarella which is basically fried mozzarella Garlic hummus, which I think I just had that. It was delicious. But I'm not buying what I had for free. Loaded potatoes. <laughs> you guys know I love loaded potatoes. And a chicken quesadilla. So the loaded potatoes have diced tomatoes, green onion, bacon, jalapeno, cheddar cheese sauce, chipotle mayo, and, and sour cream. $12 add to cart. That is my appetizer for sure. And then for the entrees, they have a pokey tuna bowl, fiesta bowl, chopped bowl, a bunch of bowls. A mushroom and Swiss burger, okay. Turkey club, New York steak, and penne shrimp pasta. So the only burger that they have has mushrooms on it. And then we have some pizzas. There's a meat lover pizza and a margarita pizza. And then on the sides, they have fries, sweet potato fries, broccolini, and a little salad. None of the entrees sound that good to me, to be honest. I, I might just get a bunch of appetizers. So I think I'm gonna do a load of potatoes, a chicken quesadilla, also the half moon mozzarella. That's like the fried mozzarella. Ooh, girls, we're going all out. And then the dessert menu has cheesecake, key lime pie, or molten lava cake. Ooh, I think the molten lava cake, that sounds so good right now. Okay, it's ordered. I will see you guys when the food arrives. Okay, so room service is here. Now it's obviously in a paper bag, <laughs> but that's to be expected, okay? This is an $84 place, like I said. Now, when I stayed at the world's largest Marriott, that was like $300 a night, I think. So that was not acceptable. And that was also paper. And those grandma cookies haunt me. Let's unbox the food. Okay, so we have a little package here. What is it? Oh, the ice cream for the molten lava cake. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge just so that it can stay nice and firm, you know, not, not melted. Um, does this not look Amazing. It looks decadent. Look at that lava coming out. Okay. Hello, Embassy. Now what's this? It's very heavy, guys. Let's see. Ah! Oh, 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 the loaded potatoes. Oh my God. My mouth literally just flooded. Look at this mess, this delicious mess. Look at all that cheese sauce. Oh my God. I don't know why. I expected like tater tots when I read Load of Potatoes, but fries totally work too. This is a huge portion. I'm so impressed. They just look so incredibly saucy and they smell so bacony. Ooh, I'm ready. Now what's this? <gasps> oh, the fried mozzarella, guys. 
guys, it's half moon mozzarella sticks, basically. Look at that. Why does this food look so much better than the Marriott's food? Like, I'm kind of shaking right now. This looks incredible. This is such a unique shape, guys. It's giving astrology. It's giving zodiac sign. I'm a half moon rising with, a, with my mozzarella cheese dripping. I'm shook. Okay, last but not least, we have the chicken quesadilla. Oh! Oh! Oh, this looks amazing too. Another very big portion. We have a side of sour cream and a side of salsa. Or is that, I think that's ranch maybe, I'm not sure. Here's a quick close up of all the food. The chicken quesadilla, oh my God. The half moon mozzarella, oh my God. And the fries, oh my goodness. That cheese looks like gas station nacho cheese and I couldn't be more hyped. The molten cake, oh my goodness gracious. I'm salivating. Let's first try the half moon mozzarella, okay? So this is the marinara. It smells pretty good. But let's first try by itself. This is like a whole hash brown patty, but it's just fried cheese. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. So fast. Mmm. Mmm, mm, the marinara is so good. That is good marinara, guys. Wow. Oh my god. Mmm. Wowie, wowie, wow. Mmm. Wow. Mm, I can't stop. I can't stop. I need more right now. Mmm, I'm so happy right now. These half moon mozzarella sticks are delicious. They they taste like any old mozzarella stick, so they don't have like a special flavor. The breading has that slight Italian seasoning. It is nice and crispy, a little bit cakey. Um, and the cheese on the inside doesn't taste like super fancy, like Cheesecake Factory mozzarella. It just tastes like normal mozzarella, but it delivers a strong, simple mozzarella stick. And I am here for that, okay? Also, the shape somehow makes it feel more delicious. Somehow biting into like a whole mouthful like of mozzarella is just like, it's, it's a moment, it's a vibe, and it makes me feel like I, I can go to the moon. I can do anything I want to do. I can eat tons of cheese and get very gassy as well. And then the marinara. It didn't taste like super fresh marinara. It did taste like you know, like jarred, but some of the best jarred marinara I've had. It tastes extremely tart and acidic in a really fresh tomato-y way, you know what I mean? And it's not too sweet like some marinaras can be. It's perfection. Love the mozzarella sticks. I am giving them a nice strong nine out of 10. Very strong start. I'm kind of shaking right now, girlies. Now let's try the really messy loaded potatoes. Are we in Idaho? Keep in mind it has like bacon, jalapenos, chipotle, um, aioli, cheese sauce, sour cream, tons of things. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. cheese sauce tastes by itself okay okay so I have thoughts first of all overall it's pretty delicious but it has a few issues oh the fries themselves to be honest they taste fine like a simple fry but I think that they're a tiny bit undercooked like a little bit they have a bit too much of a bite to them and fries shouldn't have this much of a bite to them like you know when you picture yourself biting into a uh, raw potato. Am I the only one that has pictured that? I don't <laughs> and it has almost like an apple crunch to it. This has a slight apple-y crunch to it. Very slight. Now, the bacon is perfection. Tastes extremely fresh, extremely real. Like they just made it. So that's good. The chipotle or whatever it was, aioli. Fantastic. Tons of flavor. Adds a really nice tang to the fries. Sour cream, green onions, everything is great. Besides the cheese sauce. 
I think the cheese sauce is very processed, and I don't mind a processed cheese sauce, like, like you know, trashy nacho cheese. But this is missing a flavor. It's like nacho cheese without the tanginess, without that sharpness, you know? The cheese sauce just really fades to the background and just kind of adds a sauciness with no real flavor. It isn't adding anything to the flavor profile. Other than that, I'm fully enjoying these because all the rest of the toppings are delicious, like the bacon. I'm going to give the loaded fries a nice 6.5 out of 10. Even though I am really, really enjoying them, I think that they have a few too many issues. So I have to keep it below a 7. Anyways, time for the quesadilla. We have some ranch here. It smells like Hidden Valley. <laughs> Not my favorite, but actually it's my least favorite. The valley should stay hidden. And then we have some salsa. That is some pre-packaged salsa for sure, but like not the good kind. Doesn't smell good. Let's try the chicken quesadilla. It has peppers, chicken, tons of cheese, and it looks really, really good. So let's try it. That is thick. Very cheesy. Sounds good. They put a lot of cheese. Um, let's try it with the ranch, okay? That helps a little bit. <laughs> it's not very good ranch, though, to be honest. Let's try it with the salsa. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The salsa's not too bad. I actually prefer it over the ranch. It doesn't taste as packaged as it smells. Also, the salsa has a nice spice to it. This has got a little sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, the salsa is now giving. <laughs> it's giving and serving everything. Ah, the tortilla itself is nice. It's a, it's a good tortilla. They used either a lot of butter or a lot of oil. And they really crisped it up and made it taste really salty and nice. It might be butter, actually. Very salty. I like that. Also, the cheese, like I said, they put a lot of it. But the quesadilla does not have flavor. Any. It has no flavor. None. It just tastes like cheese, plain chopped up chicken without any seasonings, and some peppers thrown in there. Even the peppers taste a little watery. They don't taste fresh for some reason. They taste like they've been frozen or something like that. I can tell these things. I'm a taste tester. Well, I'm not saying that's for sure. It's just what it tastes like to me, okay? Don't come for me, Embassy Sweets. I personally prefer quesadillas that don't just taste like cheese. I want them to either have some sort of a sauce, maybe like a chipotle sauce or something like that, or just a lot of seasoning on the chicken just to bring some flavor to the table. You know, right now this is giving no flavor. This is giving a chef made this who just ran out of every seasoning ever. And then they realized that seasonings went extinct and they couldn't buy any more. So they just had to serve this without any seasonings. That's what this is serving. The salsa actually does taste fresh. It's very juicy. It has a good amount of spice to it and, and it's limey. So the salsa, hey, I'm gonna have to give the chicken quesadilla, I think a 4.5 out of 10. It, it isn't bad, but just flavorless. I want some more of this cheese. Mmm. It is now time to try the molten lava cake. Let's get that ice cream out of the fridge. Oh my God, let's just dig right in. Oh, ooh, it's very oily on top. Okay, that's fine. Okay, ooh, ooh. Look at that, you see it? Let's try this cake first by itself and then with the ice cream. Huh. Ah, oh my God, it's so good. Let's try it with the ice cream. Ooh, perfect texture. Ooh. Oh, dang flab it! Isn't that what Billy Ray Cyrus said? Oh my God. Oh my God, I love this. A lot of molten chocolate cakes can have a really icky texture. Sometimes they're more pudding, less cake. And I prefer more cake, less pudding. This one's very cakey. You see that? 
Now, it's bouncy, it's moist, it's everything. It's also not too sweet. A lot of molten chocolate cakes can be so overly rich. Paris Hilton levels of rich. See what I did there? And this is not. This is perfectly rich, barely sweet. It goes so well with the ice cream because of that. The ice cream kind of tames it. Oh my God, I'm just loving this so much. I can't stop. Uh. It's honestly one of the better molten chocolate cakes I've had. I'm so happy with it. I wouldn't change a thing at all. Wow. Wow. I am giving the molten chocolate cake a 10 out of 10. I think it's safe to say that Embassy Suites room service, at least to me, was more hit than miss. And I expected trash, to be honest. I don't know why I just did. Sorry. But it's not. Most of this is very enjoyable food besides that tasteless quesadilla. It really is. Come on, chicken, get some flavor. Teleport us to Mars. So yay! Soon I'm gonna test out the shower, and then I'm gonna test out the bed a little later. But until then, I'm probably gonna edit some more, so. Okay guys, it is time to test out the shower. Don't look at me, I feel so bloated. I can feel the chocolate lava gurgling on my stomach. So let's see how this shower is. Let's turn on the water and see how the water pressure is, the heat, and then of course the shampoo and all that stuff. It's already hot. Yeah. Hello. You guys see me? I want to get the floor super wet. Hello. But the water heat is absolute perfection. It's exactly the temperature I want and need, and it got hot very fast. The water pressure is a little bit light, but it's pretty normal. Nothing to get mad at. Hi. <laughs> Let's smell the shampoo. So it's clear. This is it. You can't see it. Like it really doesn't have a smell. It just smells like, you know how hand soap smells like a little bar of soap smells like that. Just clean. Is the lathering good on my bald head? I think so. Oh my God, the shampoo is so nice. It smells so good. I actually love it. Now let's smell the shower gel. So the shower gel is also clear. It looks just like the shampoo. It might be the same thing. They just put it in different bottles. We don't know. It smells a little more minty, but it still has almost the same smell. So I'm going to finish my shower, but I just have to say, this is a good shower. It isn't amazing, but temperature is good. Water pressure is pretty good. The shampoo smells good. It's all good. So I'm going to give this shower, I think, a nice strong eight out of 10. Yes. Okay, it's like 11. I'm so tired. I've been editing all night. It's time to go to bed. So it's time to test out the bed as well. First things first, we always check for spiders. So, uh, okay. See anything? I think we're good. Uh, uh, they're all tucked in. I hate that. Uh, okay. Do you guys like your blankets tucked in at your feet or not? I do not. It makes me feel claustrophobic. Oh, they're still there. It's still kind of tucked. Ugh. Okay. Oh, now it's all intact. Ooh, this is cozy. We got the nice, squishy, classic hotel pillows. I love that. The sheets feel nice and cold and crisp. And the covers are nice and not too heavy, not too light. I think I'm gonna have a good sleep, guys. Okay, I'm gonna review the bed in the morning when I wake up. I'll see you guys then. Good night. <laughs> my eyes feel so. I feel like I can't, I can't open my eyes all the way. Hello? Hi, guys. I look horrible. <laughs> I just woke up. Oh my god. I slept so good. The bed is perfect. It's perfect. The mattress is perfect. It's not too soft, not too firm. All you need is a light sweater. I have nothing more to say. 10 out of 10. Wow. This place for the price has been really good. But now, guys, it's time for breakfast. We're going to go downstairs and eat breakfast. Now, I don't think I can bring breakfast upstairs because I think it's all like real plates, not, not paper plates. So we're going to have to have a little mukbang in public, which is always a little awkward, but it's fine. Okay. Let's go feast. I'm excited. Hmm. Is that the food? That's coffee. Where's the food? Let's see. Okay, guys, I found the food area. It's huge. I'm shook it.
Okay, so there's a waffle making station. There's a fresh omelet station where they make an omelet for you. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is my first plate. I got some chicken sausage, some breakfast potatoes, and a freshly made omelet, guys. I got sausage, bacon, cheese, onions, and jalapenos. Are you kidding me? And it's huge. They made it right in front of me. What is this luxury? Okay. I'm so shook at by the presentation. Let's first try the breakfast potatoes. By the way, I am gonna get better shots of like all the food items that they have, I promise. It was just packed in there, so I'm just gonna kind of wait until it empties out a bit, okay? Let's try the potatoes. Mmm, they're crunchy. Mmm. Delicious. They don't have that breakfast potato seasoning. They taste like really crunchy french fries, but they're very salty for a free breakfast potato. They're amazing. People pass by me and they like just stare at me, girl. It's so awkward. But mm, I love these. Mm. By the way, the um, ladies that made my omelet were so incredibly nice. They're like, good morning, how are you? And I was like, oh, good. This is magical. <laughs> also, I can see why they have so many tables in this lobby, finally. Because almost all of them are taken. People really want this free breakfast, and so far. I can see why. By the way, they also have pancakes, muffins, tons of things that I still have to try in the next round. So, let's try this chicken sausage. Mmm, 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 mmm. Well, this is great. It's a little apple-y, nice and salty, a lot of flavor. Feels like pretty high quality. I'll try it with the potatoes. Mmm. It's so good. It's kind of shook. It's fantastic. I'm giving the potatoes a 7.5 out of 10 and the sausage a 9 out of 10. Okay, let's try the fresh omelet. I'm nervous. This is fresh, fresh, guys. Remember, I got sausage, bacon, cheese, jalapeno, onion. Mmm. Mmm. I'm trying not to cause a scene, guys. It's so good. Oh my god, so much cheese, so much cheese. I'm shook it. Mm. Oh my god. Look at all this cheese. Whoa. Dare I say it? This might be the best omelet I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not even joking. If I was alone, I would scream, girl. They put so much bacon. Look at all this bacon and sausage. So much sausage. So much cheese. And the fact that it's free? This tastes better than most five-star room service moments that I've had. I'm not joking. And this is a free breakfast from a place that is $84 a night. This breakfast alone is worth the $84. I'm not even joking. This made the hotel go up so much higher in my ranks. I'm not even joking. And this is already the best free free hotel breakfast I've had ever. Look at the cheese. Oh my god. They used fresh jalapenos, not pickled. So they have that real crispness and that real spiciness. I love that. Also, some omelets, the egg can be way too thick, right? This omelet has a very, very thin egg, and it lets all the fillings shine. And it's gone. Wow. I want another omelet, <laughs> but I'm not gonna get it. I have to save room for the other items I haven't tried, like the waffles and the pancakes and things like that. So let's go for round two girls. Okay, so here's all the food shots that I could not film earlier. We have some pancakes, some scrambled eggs, which I didn't try because I was too full, some chicken sausage, and then we also have some pork sausage, which was in the omelet. It was amazing. And then we have yogurt cups and like cereal, which who, who even gets this? 
at a breakfast buffet. Like she doesn't even go here. And there was a waffle maker as well. And I did make a waffle. Just give me a second. There were also some danishes and some breads and some dried up donuts. So it's a Mickey shaped waffle iron, obviously. I always struggle with like turning these things and they're always scary and very hot. Also, there was tons of smoke coming out of mine and I got a little worried because it would have been very embarrassing if it burst into flames. Now my waffle looks a mess, but that's okay. Because what matters is what's on the inside, even when it comes to rats. So I just grabbed his little rat head out and and I put him on the plate. So this is my dessert plate. I got a pancake. I got this interesting dry looking donut. I'm excited to try it, it looks different. I got the Mickey waffle, got kind of messed up. Mickey can't see right now, but it's okay. And then a cherry Danish, oh my God. Let's first try this dry donut. It's literally a donut without the glaze. <laughs> um, you guys know that, that all the sweetness in a donut comes from the glaze, right? So this just tastes like a very fluffy bagel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give that a one out of 10. I don't know what is going on there. Let's try the pancake. I'm gonna just dunk it into the syrup. I think it's just like a frozen pancake, which is totally found me. I love frozen pancakes. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm. It tastes like McDonald's pancakes, but it's not anything like a real freshly made fluffy pancake. That's fine. I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. Very cute. Now let's try the waffle. I'm so happy it's not blue. Okay. Oh, it's very crispy. I got half of the rat's ear, so let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is perfection. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Crispy on the outside. Super fluffy on the inside. Mmm. A lot of waffle batter. It can taste really plain. This has sort of like a vanilla flavor in the background. Like strong. I can really taste it. And it's really good. And it's adding a lot to the whole vibe. Mmm. I'm loving it. Okay, Ronald. It's also super light and fluffy. It's so light, I could eat like 10 of them. And the syrup tastes great. The waffles, are ten out let's head. Perfection. Now, last but not least, let's try this cherry danish, okay? Mm. Uh. Come on. There's so much filling in there. Wow. Oh my god. So, it tastes like any old processed cherry danish. Luckily, I love processed cherry danishes. <laughs> but, to be honest, the filling is less like your typical cherry danish and more like, you know how like, um, like a jelly filled donut, the jelly on the inside is like really smooth. That's how this filling is. It's very smooth. I don't feel any actual cherries, but it tastes like cherries. Just like really, really smooth, jelly type cherries. Delicious, I love it. This breakfast has been amazing. It has actually been better than most five-star room service breakfasts. I'm not even just saying that. It really slayed me, especially the omelet. Best eggs I think I've ever had at a hotel in my life. Ever, ever, ever. So I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts when we get back to the room, but Embassy Suites might be that girl because of the price, truly. <laughs> Guys, I'm shaking. I have never been this satisfied with a free hotel breakfast in my life. That was incredible. That was better than most room service. I'm not joking. This made me love Embassy Suites even more. So let's just talk final thoughts here. The room doesn't look super modern, but it's very big. It has everything that I need. The bed was amazing. The shower was great. For the price, the room is a 10 out of 10. The amenities, 
I'm gonna have to give them an 8 out of 10 because the outside pools were so crusty, but other than that, the amenities were fantastic. And we also had a room named Citrus, like what more could you ask for? And then we got the free little snacks, 10 out of 10. They're, they're free snacks, hello. Room service dinner was mostly good. The chicken quesadilla wasn't that good, but like the molten lava cake, amazing. The mozzarella moons, amazing. The fries were pretty good. So room service, I'm gonna have to give it a nice strong 8 out of 10. But I have to say the free breakfast, was a 10 out of 10 guys. The quality of the food, the amount of different options, the flavors, the free fresh omelets, it was just all too wonderful. I'm shooketh by it and the free breakfast was a 10 out of 10. So overall, I think I am giving the Embassy Suites a very strong 9 out of 10. I would definitely recommend staying here. I think the only bad thing about the price is just the parking because $22 for one night is kind of crazy, but the free breakfast kind of makes up for it, you know, because it's so amazing. So I'm shook. Embassy Suites really is that girl. And I'm so glad that I chose to stay here because if I'm ever traveling anywhere else, and if I'm not like filming, hello, I am going to aim for an Embassy Suite so I can get that delicious omelet. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. I had the best time of my life. I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.